Please get Drew Holiday out of the lane here, okay? Hedge. First of all, the sideline's right there, so the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, you can recover. But in the meantime, now I can have backside help right here, and now if a skip pass is made here, uh, first of all, this player can go here and you can X out. The problem when you run drop coverage is look at all the options. First of all, look at how much easier this pass is to make. And then the other thing is, you just gave Drew Holiday the lane. What is CJ McCollum doing? Why are you not guarding one-on-one? -on -one? Well, look at CJ McCollum leaning towards nothing. There's not even a screen being set. So you just got blown by. That draws a double. Okay, you're not going to be able to guard Giannis one-on-one -on -one in the open floor. Now, you're about, look, look at right here. So, yeah, Zion is staying to double, but he doesn't communicate this. Okay, so back here, Zion's got to say, send him right, send him right, so you know to get up and that there's a double team coming. But you're sending him to where there's no double team, and good night. Okay, CJ McCollum's coming here to help. Your only responsibility now is to make sure Giannis has to go into this help. If he goes this way, there's no help. <laughs> Cannot have your foot in the paint when your man is in the corner. You got to get way, you got to get further out here. Okay, because look, we got a down screen being set, and look at this space you have to get over this down screen. But instead, you get hit with the screen, so now Connaughton's in the lane, alley oop. Okay, so you're doubling Bobby Portis in the post right here. This Pelicans player can't be standing in the paint. Okay, because the rotation is if this ball goes here, this player rotates here, which he does. But you got to be up the line here because you're not, you got to rotate there. But you're in no position to rotate. You're in the paint. You have to use the help with Giannis in the open floor. Dyson Daniels' man isn't even back. So all that you have to do is get up and force Giannis this way. Okay, how on earth do you let him go away from that help? All right, again, Giannis is in the open floor, and again, you have help with Jose Alvarado. So get up and force Giannis into this double team. Instead, you're letting him go away from any help. Why am I sagging off Giannis here? Again, Alvarado has come over to double. What is the point of sagging? Just get up and force him into this double team. You sag, first of all, you're just giving him the ability to go this way away from the help, but also you're giving him an open three for no reason that he can't hit. Why am I in the business of giving two-on-ones, especially when the roller is Giannis, okay? Please get up and get Joe Ingles out of here. Backside helps right here. If Joe Ingles throws a skip pass here, I can recover. But you're in a two-on-one with Giannis. I mean, how do you think that ends? Okay, this ball's on the floor right now. It's a 50-50 ball. You see Giannis sprinting, so you got to go this way. If New Orleans ends up getting this 50-50 ball, you can always come back into the play, okay? But... You got with Giannis is going, you got to go with them because if Milwaukee comes up with this ball, this is what's going to happen. How many times is this going to happen? You have a man waiting to help you. So why are you playing off Giannis like this? Get up on Giannis and force him into this help. When you play off him, you let him go away from the help. What is going on? If you are CJ McCollum, you cannot feel out a screen. Okay, if you get screened, our ball screen defense will react. But look at C.J. McCollum. See how he's feeling out a screen that never gets set? So now you basically screened yourself, and Drew Holiday is going to nail this a step back three. What is Zion doing here? You are guarding this player here. What is preventing you now from guarding this player? How did that space just happen? What? Okay, so C.J. McCollum is coming to double-team Giannis right here, okay? So this Pelicans player right here has got to have his left foot parallel to the block right here, right foot out, okay? Because right now, as Drew Holiday comes through here, you can't allow this pass to get made. But you still need to be able to recover here if a skip pass is made to the corner. Once Drew Holiday cuts to the paint, now Zion can take him, okay? Because him, uh, Drew Holiday and Brooke Lopez are going to be so close together, he can basically guard both of them. But as long as Drew Holiday's still on the fringes of the paint, this is your responsibility. Why am I in the business of a two-on-one right here with Drew Holiday, all-star, Giannis, two-time MVP? Why can't I get up and hedge? Giannis can't go anywhere. The backside defender's standing and waiting for him. Yet look what happens here. You get Look at how awful a position you put this big in. He's got to guard both Drew Holiday and Giannis. Just unfair. 
Okay, I mean, Brooke Lopez facing up Zion Williamson, you got to send him help. And this is so easy to help, it doesn't make sense not to. Because again, this player here, this player rotates here, this player that doubles pushes this player out here. Okay, but Brooke Lopez is just going to shoot right over him. Okay, you're running drop coverage, which I can't stand on a pick and pop. I really can't stand it if you don't have rotations ready. Okay, so Valanchunas is never getting back out to Brook Lopez. So Zion's got to kind of cheat up here a little bit. Get up the line because on a kick out pass, you got to go here and Valanchunas goes here. Okay, I mean, what? Here's Zion falling asleep again. You're guarding Pat Connaughton. How do you fall asleep on him so badly? What is, how, you can't guard now. <sighs> it's totally insane to be playing off Brook Lopez. I mean, he's not, he's not beating you off the dribble. Get up, okay? If you want to, you can force him here because then we have a player here that can stunt, keep his feet set and recover in the gaps, Okay? But, I mean, this is lunacy. This is becoming absolute comedy at this point. Right here, this player has nothing else to do but double. His man is at half court. So why are you not up and forcing Giannis into this double team? How does this constantly happen? This is a god-awful switch. If you are switching, it has to be now and underneath the screener. It cannot be late, and you're over the top of the screener, so now this player's got to step up. Giannis' cut is now wide open. Joke. This is the exact same thing. Go under the screener when you switch. When you switch over the top. Just sad to watch. Okay, again, you have a double team coming. Now, CJ McCollum needs to announce that you need to send him right. Okay, so this player knows. I got to send him this way. Okay, but you're not, you're not forcing him into the double, so it's not going to matter. You're Jose Alvarado here. You got to be way more aggressive in boxing out. Look at Jose Alvarado here. That you're walking. No, you got to be aggressive, making sure you're boxing out. You walk over there, so Grayson Allen's going to get ahead of you, and now it's he's the one boxing you out. Why am I going under a ball screen with Drew Holiday? Get over here, and we're hedging here again. Backside help right here. Does Drew Holiday throw a skip pass here? I can easily recover. I mean, you're giving up a, a practice three with a minute left down three.